Hey guys! So I'm back and it's another Daiso haul. Woo! <laughs> so I liked the journal that I got, the fake moleskin I got so much last time that I had to go back and get another one. Um, and then I got a couple of stationary things and my favorite soda of all time. We always called it marble soda because it has that little marble on the inside. I keep meaning to try the um, melon flavored, but I just never get around to it. Uh, so let's see what we got going on here. Um, okay. Let's do the big guy first. So to carry around my journals and stuff, I had to get this. He is so cute. I got one last year that has a bunny on it that I absolutely adore and that's what I carry around my um, planner and my journals in. Um, sometimes I'll throw them in my purse but more than likely they're going to be in here because then I also have like this little fish bag that has my um, washi tape. Actually, I'll show you real quick. So this is my bunny bag. And but he's getting a little dirty. And that's his tail. And this is my meal planning book that I have in here right now. So none of my journals. But this is my little fish bag. Can you see him? He's a fish. He's got fins. And in here is my washi tape and um, post-it notes and things like that. And my memory stick. So I never forget it. So I got a llama this time. And I love him. And he's got his tail on the back. And seriously, $1.50. How can you go wrong with that? And then I got this cute little owl ring which he's so sweet. Halloween is coming, so I thought he would be perfect. And I got this little bracelet, which I had to tear out of the packaging and wear out of the store because I love it so much. <laughs> it's really light and easy to wear. Um, and, you know, just adds a little sparkle, so I had to. And then I got this to keep all my journals in, standing upright on my desk, which I dearly love. So that's going to be super useful. And then we get into the journaling section, and the pens and the pouches. And I thought these pens were going to be awful, but they're actually not that bad. So here's a scrap. They're gel. And they write pretty clean, although the white is red, so that sort of tripped me up because I was excited for it being white, but you know. They don't skip all that much, but I have a feeling they're going to run out of ink fast, but um, for now, that'll work. And they actually all fit into this little binder pouch, and this binder pouch is awesome. It's like a teal suede. Sorry about that, my um, camera completely ran out of juice. So what was I saying? I think I was talking about this binder pouch, which is awesome. It's a teal suede and it looks like it can't hold a lot, but it can hold all of those pens. Let me put it around the binder first so that you can see. And this was the, um, the one I got last time. And actually the cover is still a little bit sticky, whereas this one isn't. It feels like it's fully cured. I don't know what that's about. It's not completely noticeable, it's just a little bit noticeable. So anyway, um, to put this on, you can put it around the front or the back cover, wherever you prefer, or in the inside. I prefer it on the front cover so that when I open it to write, um, I'm right-handed so I can write down on my page and this 
just props it up just a little bit and it's not annoying or anything like that but and then I can fit all my pens into it look at that I was really surprised with these pens that they were as decent a quality as they were because I really thought they were just gonna have no ink in them and skip you know a lot but they didn't they've been fine so that's that um, and I got a new one so this one I've been sort of doing a weird little I don't even know what to call it it's kind of like a, an inspirational journal to keep me going because uh, like I said this I have a I got a second part-time job actually if you consider my Etsy stores it would be a third job <laughs> but I'm no stranger to that and uh, it's really it's stressful in a different way than my other jobs are stressful it's good because you know I can go in there do my job and leave and you know just leave my worries there but um, it's dealing with people and I'm an introvert so um, which is fine in like a normal corporate setting which I'm used to but this is more like retail so it's it's pretty intense which I did you know when I was younger but uh, you know I got out of the habit so it's just getting back in the habit and then you know when I go on my breaks this is just something for me to journal in to jot down my thoughts to get it out of my brain and onto paper but also I've been um, just printing off a whole bunch of things on the internet that I find it inspirational so that um, when I go on my break and you know I'm trying to remind myself like you know uh, just relax <laughs> those people's worries and troubles are not yours they're you know they're theirs they came in with them and yeah they're unloading on you but you know it has nothing to do with you type thing so it's just it's a place for me to get centered again I guess is what it is and it's really worked so I'll just kind of flip through it um, so this is a little glitter paper that uh, I think was at Michael's in the loose paper section. This was just a paper clip that I made a while ago. I think I have a video of this on my channel. This is just, you know, because this whole thing is a journey and um, I have a destination of where I want to go. I want to pay everything off. I want to get my savings in line, you know, that kind of thing. So it's just for something for me to open up instant relax instantly relax and focus on and then you know just some inspirational pages um, what my goal is and this cute little thing um, my main goal right now is to make lunches and eat better so it's a lot of just journaling about that and why I haven't and remind myself to detach this was a particularly difficult day so <laughs> It's in the break room scribbling this down um, but uh, I have more pictures I just have to sort of glue them in there so this has been actually extremely helpful um, just to kind of chill me out and then so I got this one because with this one um, I think I'm gonna make it Halloween is one of my favorite times of year I've already asked for it off <laughs> all my companies that I work for just so I can have a few days to myself and I think in this one I'm just there's a whole bunch of great uh, Halloween images on Pinterest so I think I'm just gonna uh, do the same thing in this one that I do in this one but just sort of it all be Halloween so it's like a mental escape for me to just open up and look at and peruse and to have fun with so that is it for my haul Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great week. Bye!